It's Joe from Angels and Ancestors, and today is the 28th of September. It's the new moon in Libra. Um, I still haven't had time to check what time uh, this new moon is, so I'm going to do the spread today um, for the new moon, um, and it will go out. Um, I would imagine probably soon after this one. Um, comes out so I usually do um, the dailies the evening before um, and this is no different so yeah I'm going to try and get it done I'll, so I just need to check where the new moon sits so I will get it done for you guys so we're going to ask the cards can we have a card please for um, Saturday the 28th of September and there's a couple of people out there that I absolutely adore. Deb does tarot. Hi, Deb. Glad you're better. I'm glad you're back. Glad you're firing on all cylinders. Your readings have been wonderful. Um, and a couple of happy birthdays. Happy birthday to a very good friend of mine, Michelle. And happy birthday to um, a lovely young woman that I know, um, Sadie. Have a great day, both of you. Um, yes, yeah, so let's ask the Archangels for some advice for today, which is Saturday the 28th of um, September. And lovelies, I've got to say this, this afternoon, um, English time, so that's GMT time at 5.30, I'm going up for an assessment for my um, spiritual medium work i'm uber i'm going to take both of those guys um i'm uber excited uber apprehensive um but yeah that's happening today it's happening on the full on the new moon um and it's in libra and i'm kind of like a little bit hyper today because i'm just kind of heading towards that and it's kind of like oh my goodness what have i done now um, so yeah, hopefully it'll all be good and um, in the Sunday's reading I will, um, or one of the readings that I do, I will be telling you uh, the outcome of that. So, we're going to ask the angels and the ancestors if they've got any knowledge and wisdom that, that they would like to share for Saturday the 28th of September oh these have been a bit tight aren't they they've been flying out all over the place all week there we go brilliant we've got one. Oh, okay so we have got the Knight of Chalices coming in and he's coming in lovely, he's coming in directly towards you and he's offering you this cup. Now this is going to be a message, it could be a message of love, it could be a message of spirituality, it could be a message of knowledge and wisdom from the ancestors. I don't like to say it's just around love because it's not always. Um, and love can mean so many different things to so many different people. It can be the love of a partner. It can be the love of a family member or a friend. Or it could be somebody that you're just making a connection, a new connection with that is going to open doors for you. So be open to what this cup um, that's coming towards you contains. Um, it's going to be positive. There's nothing negative about this at all and it could be that this is something that you've been waiting for because in the middle of the week we got the four of cups which meant that everybody was really fed up about something um and this wasn't coming in but it's now coming in and it's coming in 
um, steadily. I'm not going to say it's coming in fast paced. It's coming in steadily. He's standing upright in the saddle and it's a definite offer. This is a definite offer coming your way. And it is going to be so beneficial to you. So the Archangels gave us two cards to um, be going on with. And we've got solutions, which is success comes from objective compromise, self-control and patience, forgiving and healing energy. Oh, that's a bit deep, isn't it? So after yesterday's reading, which was really heavy, um, I'm kind of getting the feeling that whatever happened yesterday, that you were compassionate to the other person, you were honest and open. And from that, you've come up with a, an objective compromise, a compromise of some description. Or my word that I prefer to use is negotiated. You've negotiated a different position or perspective around this issue. Um, and it's saying that you had massive self-control and patience over this issue. Um, and now you're moving into this forgiving and healing energy, not just for yourself, but for the other people that were involved in this. And I think this is why this cup is now coming towards you because you're in that position where you said, that's it, I'm done. And I need to move forward on my pathway. I need this now to surge forward i need to clear the path so i can surge forward and then you've got the eight of gabriel which says a great deal of activity oh really sudden and immediate results important communication so there we have the communication again and i kind of get the feeling that having had this communication on friday it has definitely cleared the way um, for this activity to start up around you and um, whatever it is it's going to have a healing feeling on you and you've got the outcome of this is going to be this knight of chalices offering you this cup this message that is going to be really beneficial to you and then the angels and the ancestors have given us some knowledge and wisdom and it says broken arrow embrace the energy of peace so after the full-on energy of yesterday's reading, we're now being saying, it's now saying because you've dealt with this situation, you've dealt with it in such a good way, um, you may be bringing this cup to yourself and it may be a cup of peace. Sorry to disappoint some of you. Um, but it may be that you've just cleared the way for this night to come through and offer this cup to you because of how peaceful and serene that you feel at the moment i feel a lot of you have done a lot of work and meditations and manifestations and i kind of get the feeling that this is some of the result of what you've been doing the hard work you've been putting in so guys this is a fabulous saturday i know i'm gonna have a fabulous saturday I'd like you to take care, be at peace, bright blessings until tomorrow, bye for now.